afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. It's a wonderful day to stand before God's people with God's word. And we thank the Lord that he has given us a word for today. Amen. Jeremiah was asked, is there any word from the Lord? And there's always word from the Lord. And I was uh, thinking and reading in the, uh, the Kadash Ruah, which is the Holy Spirit gave me word to go into about the word. And we have to recognize that the word of God, uh, the word of Yahweh, uh, the word of the all, or whatever you choose to call, is the wisdom of God, or Yahweh, or the all, or the almighty. Whatever language or whatever uh, we are using, we use the word as the word. And it's been the word. And it brought me thus far as the word. And we must continue in the word and follow the word because we know that the word was Yahshua, who we call Jesus. And since there wasn't no J in the alphabet during that time, we used the word Yahshua. So uh, uh, that's the Hebrew word for Jesus. And uh, we just want to go into the word of God, uh, the word of uh, Yah, and let you know that the Bible is the master success head book. If you want to be successful and master your life in the things of this life, around your life, you must get familiar with Yahshua, who was the Word in the beginning and became flesh and came down and paid the penalty of our sin debt to Yahweh, Almighty, Eternal, Everlasting Father. So without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So we know we have been remitted. He paid the price, his life, for you, me, and whosoever will. He said, whosoever come to him, he would in no wise cast them out. I don't care if you're Jew, Gentile, Greek. I don't care what you are. He said, under this new covenant that we are under, which is under the order of Melchizedek. It's not after the order of Levi anymore. It's after the order of Melchizedek. And when we go into the 14th chapter of Genesis, we can read about Melchizedek, who met Abraham, and Abraham gave him a tent, and he gave Abraham bread and wine. The same thing Yahshua gave for us at the last Passover. And he said, eat this bread, it represents my body, drink this fruit of the vine, it represents my blood. It was given for the remission of your sin. You are under the new covenant, which is the New Testament. So that's where I go now, because it's not where I've been, it's where I'm going. We got to look to the future. You see, all of this we see now is going to perish. Well, we're looking for the world tomorrow in which Yahshua will be reigning for a thousand years Amen. on this earth. Yes. In case you don't know it, that's what the scriptures say. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And so what he's letting us know that in Revelation 11 chapter in verse 15 it says the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his uh, Yahshua and he must reign on this earth for a thousand years. Satan must be bound a thousand years. He's going to replenish the earth just like he told Adam to do. So we, we're going to get into the word of God, uh, Yahweh, and into the wisdom of him. Uh, uh, 
First of all, I'd like to give you some of the benefits of some of the roars of wisdom. Uh, number one, wisdom is the master key to all the treasures of life. If we go to uh, uh, First Chronicles, the Second Chronicles, the first chapter, in verse eleven and twelve. Uh, get your pencil and paper because I, I, I have quite a few rewards of wisdom. And as I'm teaching now, wisdom is our spiritual mother. Uh, she would whip Yah before anything else. She was his daily delight. He rejoiced in wisdom and it's called she. So that lets me know that we do know about our Father, Yah, Yahweh, which is uh, uh, the Father, and we do know of wisdom as our spiritual mother. We, we're not starting with Adam and Eve, I'm going to be a before, I'm getting the foundation. All right. So you might not hear this any place else. And think, if you mention this to somebody, you better be able to back it up. Because they're going to call you crazy. They're going to want to get away from you because they haven't heard nothing like this. But you know what? They right. never will be able to understand it unless they get the Kedilai yeah. Shrua. Which is the latest thing from heaven. Yahshua mm -hmm. said he wouldn't leave us confident. He prayed to the Father and he sent another confidence mm -hmm. that would be with us and in Thank us. You. And Thank would you. lead us and guide us Indeed. into all truth. Yeah. We need to know saints today all truth. Yes. We've been told a portion. Mm -hmm. But I don't go on just a little bit. All the way. I want it all. Oh. 99 and a half won't do. Mm -hmm. no. You got to keep on seeking, asking, and knocking until you get that honey. Okay. And you'll know you got that honey when you get the Kadash Ruach. Yeah. So this going to teach you, lead you, and guide you, and give you power to be an overcomer. Of all the things in this world, you are going to be overcome. Yes. And that's what I want to be. Right. I want to be able to overcome all the wiles of the devil. Right. Not yeah. some of them. Mm -hmm. We get over one or two and we think we got it made. Mm -hmm. No. He didn't leave Yahshua uh, uh, completely. He left him for a season. Mm -hmm. After he had told him about what was written, he left him for a season. Amen? Amen? So what does uh, 2 Chronicles 1, 11 and 12 say? Eleven and twelve. And in every several city he put shields and spears and made them exceedingly strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. Is that 2 Chronicles 1, 11 and 12? Oh, I thought you said yeah. 1, 11 and 12? Yes. I'm sorry. And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thine enemies, neither yet has asked long life, uh -huh. but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. All right. So what he asked for wisdom... And I found out that wisdom is our spiritual mother and she was with him before anything was created. So just like Eve came out of Adam, wisdom came out of Yahshua. When he spoke the word, that was his wisdom filled with his word. And his word was Yahshua. And then beginning John 1 and 1, say what's the word? And the word was with Yah, yeah. and the word was Yah. Mm -hmm. So this is lined up. Now whosoever disputes that, that's up to them. Where there's life, there's hope. Mm -hmm. So you Amen. keep hoping that you're on the right track. Yeah. Did in the right way. Marching up the King's Highway. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, so uh, 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 what does... Uh, Colossians 2 and 3 say. 
Colossians 2 and verse 3. Let the Bible speak. In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Uh huh. In who? <laughs> huh? Jesus. <laughs> Amen. All of them right. All right. So the fear of God, uh, Yahweh, is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 9 and 10, what does it say? Proverbs 9 and 10. Let the Bible speak. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, yes. What is the beginning of wisdom? The fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of wisdom. If you you got to start right there with Yahweh, with God. You got to start with Him. Amen. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Now, the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Getting a good understanding. The Bible says, get wisdom, get knowledge, but out of all your getting, get a good understanding. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, according to Job 28 and 28, what does that say? I, I'm trying to move a little rapid because I, I don't think I'm going to finish all of this today, but... Uh, uh, it's good to know about your spiritual mother. What does Job 28, 28 say? And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding. Well, the fear of the Lord is wisdom. 